Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, September 5th, 2021. This puzzle has a title, it's called Go Up in Smoke. Alright, let's get started. One across, impersonate. Hmm. It's not act as, is it? Hmm. Maybe it's mimic. That would be a much better answer. Let's see if we can confirm that on the downs here. Sounds at a sauna. Well, it's plural. I actually would kind of want that to be ahs, like a relaxed sound. I wonder if mimic is not right, actually. Limit. Yeah, that should be a cap, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's actually act as, okay. All right, well, I guess our first guess was better. Um, okay, so that's cap. This is Oz. 2020 EG. That's really good eyesight. It's also a news magazine on television. Hmm. Home of the Isle of Tortuga. Is it Haiti? That seems pretty likely, I think. Hit TV show created by Donald Glover. Yeah, that's Atlanta. That show is so funny. Okay. Something close to a colonel's heart. And this is wordplay. So it's not going to be about something the colonel loves. Maybe it's like the medals that are on his uniform? I don't know. Close to a colonel's heart. Hmm. Oh, and this could be an example of a tie, I guess. <laughs> that would be a tie score. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this first long across. This may be our first theme answer. Charming sort. And this is maybe wordplay or maybe just an indication of a theme answer. I would want this to be a spellcaster. Yeah, kind of like a witch or a wizard or something. Somebody that would cast charms. Yeah, kind of a la Harry Potter. That's looking pretty good. Oh, maybe this is just about the word kernel. Uh, would that be a silent L? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, blank lingus is air lingus. That's the Irish airway. John of Two and a Half Men. I've never watched this show. I don't think I know who this actor is. Hmm. 30 year host of late night TV. Hmm. It's not Johnny Carson. It's not Conan O'Brien. Hmm. It's not Jay Leno. Huh, I don't know who that is. Commotion. Prattle? That's not really a commotion. That's about talking. Hmm. Today competitor for short could be Good Morning America. Bump on a log? Could that be a gnarl? That's a bump in a tree, right? Blank often costs too much, Emerson? Hmm. I haven't heard this quote before. Ooh, a dash? That's interesting. That really feels like part of a theme. I wonder if this is just a traditional wordplay clue and this is our first actual theme answer. I thought this might be a theme because, I don't know, when you cast spells, sometimes smoke is involved. So I thought, well, the theme title is Go Up in Smoke. Maybe it's all going to be about magicians of some kind, but I don't know about that now. Interesting. Those against could be antis. Come back again, again, again. Um, it seems like it should start with re. Maybe it's re-echo. Yeah, because when it comes back again, that's an echo. And then if it happens again and again, that would be re-echoes, right? Okay. Harp-shaped Constellation. Shouldn't that be Lyra? Is that with an I or a Y? 
Is it money often costs too much? Yeah, that's pretty funny. Okay, so I guess it's Lyra with a Y. Or is it Lyra? Like it's a liar? Hmm, I'm not actually sure. Okay, Lucy's last name on I Love Lucy. That was Ricky and Lucy Ricardo, right? Um. Uh, hmm. This is making no sense to me at all. 30 year host of late night TV. Huh. Announcement maker of your? It's not a herald. Hmm. Interesting. LL Bean competitor? Hmm. Seems like a lot of companies fit into that niche of like country cozy clothing. Hmm. Plant family that Jasmine and the Lilac are part of. Hmm. My botany is not good enough for that one. Safe space. This would be great if this was about like a safe where you put money in. Um, like a bank or something. Safe space. Hmm. Gangsta Lovin' Rapper, 2002. Well, it's a three-letter rapper. I mean, I'm just going to guess Nas. <laughs> Hopefully that's right. Sold for? Wouldn't that be went for? Maybe it's not Nas. Yeah, because this is looking like it's going to be J. Crew, right? They're also kind of preppy slash cottagecore. Um, boy, what is this going to be then? It starts with an E. Hmm. Maybe this is a haven? A safe space? Could also call that an asylum, maybe, like from yesterday. This really looks like it wants to be Johnny Cash, doesn't it? That is so weird. Hang on a second. We had a dash intersecting this, right? Ooh, look at that. Okay. Um, Johnny Cash. And then if you take a turn up here, Johnny Cash turns into Johnny Carson. And that is the late night host that we wanted to put in. And that's the word arson, <laughs> which would make sense for our puzzle title, Going Up in Smoke. Yeah, you would be lighting cash on fire. <laughs> oh my God, this theme is amazing. Lighting cash on fire, arson, and you turn Johnny Cash into Johnny Carson. Wow, that is impressive. I cannot wait to get to our second theme answer and see if um, this is kind of consistent all the way through. Wow, that is super impressive. Okay. Um, okay, maybe commotion could be chatter. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of chatter about the theme right now. And then some team competitions maybe could be rivalries. Yeah, especially if you end up tying all the time. Okay, so this is totally foreign to me. O-H-I. Um, I think there was a rapper called Eve. Uh, yeah. And then this would be Ohive, <laughs> maybe. Um, let's leave that blank for now uh, and maybe come back to it. Hopefully it could be our last square, maybe. Maybe this is a crier, like a town crier? Announcement maker, yeah. They used to be a thing? In quotes. A thing, is this like an item? Like a celebrity couple or something? I don't know about that. Floor coverings that feel good on the feet. Hmm, shag carpets? Hmm. Yoga class instruction? Hmm. I would want that to be like breathe in or... I don't know, I've actually never done yoga. 
toward the back could be a rear. Okay. They used to be a thing. Is it plural? It's they. Would this be the letter S here? Some UN officers for short. Oh my goodness. Um, is it like secretaries? This is maybe an S too. Detective Lupin. Hmm. I know Lupin the Third. I don't think that's the same thing. Maybe we can start building out here and come back. Televangelist Joel. Yeah, that's Joel Osteen. Okay. Blank Manila. Muppet? This is the name of a Muppet? Oh, man. Is it Sal Manila? <laughs> is he, like, associated with the Swedish chef? That would be a really funny, like, cooking pun. Yeah, okay. The E in Genoa? Uh, the E in Genoa, and this is wordplay. Hmm. Is this just a word for the letter E in Italian? Because Genoa is in Italy? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what the word for E is in Italian. Oh, good. Okay, we've got another dash. That means I think probably this answer is going to be going up in smoke. Let's take a look at this. Addiction treatment locale. Um, okay, is it a treatment? No, I can't have the word treatment in it. It almost looks like it's going to end in center, right? Um, okay, so it's not always going to be arson causing the smoke going up. Hmm, this is a very interesting theme. Let's see if we can get this corner and get some more help. Got ready to ride with up. It seems like it should end in a D, maybe? Hmm. Not ready to ride. Boarded? That doesn't quite fit. Hmm. Vacuum tube type? It's not cathode. Hmm. Vacuum tube? That's very old technology. That's what ancient computers used to use. Get into one's birthday suit. Um, it's not strip. Oh yeah, no, I think it really should be strip. That's great. Okay. Uh, hmm. High follower. Hmm. I kind of feel like this should be like high mom or something. Is it possible that strip is wrong? Hmm. Rack up as charges. No, that should be incur. Okay. I'm feeling better about strip. No hassle. Problem less. Problem free. Hmm. No, maybe it's pain free. There we go. That's good. And then what are these crosses here? Word before rock or football. Arena rock, arena football. Yeah. Okay. Olympics projectiles. Olympics projectiles. What? Why is this pluralized? Why is Olympics pluralized? Hmm. This does look like a weird plural here. It's not javeli or something, right? What else do they throw in the Olympics? There's the discus. Ooh, yeah. Maybe it's disci? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the weekend of weird Latin pluralization. Um, okay, this is saddled up, right? Very good. It did end up with a D at the end of it. Um, ooh. This seems like something I've never heard of. Trione, maybe? Triole? I don't know. Legal fields concerned with long-term care. Is it elder something? It really looks like it wants to start with elder. And then that gives us triode. That's really good. Kind of like a diode? Maybe? I don't know. But then what is this? Shouldn't this be elder law? So maybe it's not pain-free. Maybe it's pain-less. 
And then that would be Elder Law. Like gasoline nowadays. Unleaded. That's too long. Hmm. Ungreen? <laughs> I don't know. Gone but not forgotten. It's all hyphenated too. Interesting. Countless. Hmm. I don't know. Prima ballerina. Hmm. This is tricky. Maybe we can just start anew up here. Fruit drinks? Yeah, that could be AIDS. Holder of merit badges on a scout uniform? That has to be a sash. Okay. Song word repeated after K? That's K sera sera, right? Whatever will be, will be. People in charge abbreviated. Is it politicians? Pauls, maybe? Hmm. Countless. Is it a slew of? Ooh, that's good. This would not be politicians, though. Hmm. Oh, we got another theme answer. Excellent. Maybe that's why this one was hard to see. Okay. Yeah, they kind of sneak up on you because you don't get any indication on the acrosses that it's a theme answer. Okay, so it is unleaded after all. Man, okay, that should set off alarm bells when we have an answer going across that we think it really should be. Unleaded. Um, this is aided, added, added does not give me any indication of something on fire though. I wonder if this arson was just a coincidence actually. Added. Um, and then this could be unleash, I guess. Slips could be heirs. Yeah. Leaders. Oh my God. What a terrible abbreviation. Um, I think that has to be right, though. Deda? Added? Yeah, this doesn't make anything. Hmm. And you don't really set a leash on fire, either. Huh. I wonder if this was a coincidence that it had so many interesting things related to being on fire. Go up in smoke. I wonder if I'm just missing this. Um, added. Yeah, well, let's come back to that. Maybe when we get more examples of the theme, uh, we'll be able to make sense of it. So gone but not forgotten. Hmm. Oh, look at this. We get a kind of a revealer, it looks like. With 97 across, emerge reborn, or with the ends of five across answers due in this puzzle. Um, I guess it would be rise from the ashes, kind of like a phoenix would do, right? Okay, so it's not rising from cash up here. It's rising from ash. There we go. And then this has an ash at the end too. Okay, so that's still really good. Um, it's not as amazing as burning cash and arson, I think that was maybe just a coincidence, but still rising from the ashes is still really cool. Um, and it looks like maybe this just isn't anything, this string of letters here. Um, we just get the across answers rising from the ashes when they hit them. Okay, that's still very cool though. All right. Um, is this about someone that's just died like late? Gone but not forgotten. Hmm. Pot grower's remark, and this is wordplay. Pot grower. Hmm. What snakes grow as they age? I guess they would grow longer, right? <laughs> kind of as a rule. Corrects as text. Um, I think that would be amends with an E. I believe that means correcting text specifically. Oh man, I just don't know that one. Good Wheel of Fortune buy for reverse engineer. I guess that would be an E because there's so many E's in here. I'd like to buy an E. 
Okay. Rule. Maybe reign, like a king would do. Okay. Took a swing, say. Could that be batted? Oh, no. It's too short. Okay. Maybe it's swatted? You could take a swat at something. That would be taking a swing, right? Um... Hmm. Big name in nail polish. I don't know that much about nail polish. Hmm. Drive? There's so many meanings to drive. What could that be? Like drive could be ambition. Could also be like a golf drive. Could be a car drive. Hmm. Politicians concern? That seems like that should be image, right? Maybe it's not swatted. Let's see. Image. And then lead off selections. And this is more wordplay. Um. Hmm. Where's the pun here? Lead off selections. Wouldn't this be about baseball normally? Hmm. Took a swing. Food packaging reassurance? Hmm. Shouldn't that be like use by or something? Boy. Hmm. This section is a little tricky over here. Yeah. Hmm. I'm still not sure about image. Where dominoes were invented? It's an interesting historical fact. I do not know that one. Hmm. Oh, right. This was one of our going up in smokes. Okay. Scolded as in a library? I really want that to be hushed. You should get hushed at a library if you're talking too loud. Is this China? I guess that's possible. In early 2001, one of its executives notoriously said, from an accounting standpoint, this will be our easiest year ever. <laughs> I guess that would be Enron, the notorious Enron. Um, what in the world? Uh, hmm. Present day saint, and this is wordplay. I have a feeling this should be about Santa Claus, right? He's a saint that has something to do with a day where you get presents. So maybe it's Nicholas, Saint Nicholas. That's really fun. I really like that little bit of wordplay. Okay, Super Bowl. What is this? 55 champ? That would be a buck, right? I think that was the latest Super Bowl, right? All right. Um, it really does look like this wants to be center, doesn't it? Uh, maybe it's rehab center, and then that would give us what? Rehash? Yeah, that's good. Nice. Okay, rehab center. Ab center? Yeah, that doesn't have anything to do with smoke. Okay. But it does have an ash at the end. That's very good. All right, we're getting a hang of how this theme is working. Okay, Sweet Pea could be Hun, a little pet name. Emmy-winning journalist Finch. I don't think I've heard of this person. Determination from Santa. That's really nice, right next to St. Nicholas there. Okay, I guess that would be nice as opposed to naughty. I guess this could be like Elise or something. Red-handed, say. Um, Maybe it's mid-act. <laughs> yeah, if you get caught mid-act, you are not going to be on Santa's nice list anymore. Okay. Bear? Could that be Stark? Yeah, you'd be Stark naked if you stripped, if you got into your birthday suit. So maybe this is Elise. Um, drive. Hmm. Volkswagen model initials? Jeez. Isn't it like... GTI. I feel like they have GTI on the back of some Volkswagens. Yeah, and then drive could be urge. And then, hmm, lead off selections. Boy, maybe took a swing could be guest. If I felt bold enough to take a swing at this answer. 
Yeah, guest? Alright, um... Ugh, I still don't know this. Pot grower's remark. I raise? Oh my god, it's about poker. <laughs> uh, I just could not see where the pun was. That's great. That's really funny. You would grow the pot by putting more money into it. Oh man, I have no idea. It's probably a T. Etoile? Uh, yeah. Oh, is this no MSG? Jeez, okay. Um, maybe this is the late great. Yeah, very nice there. Okay, it is a Etoile, whatever that is. And then, is this Erasers? Lead off selections? That's another really good bit of wordplay. They take the lead off. Erasers, okay. No idea about this one. Website with a seller handbook? I have a feeling that's Etsy. Yeah, because Etsy has sellers. It could be eBay also. Etsy, I have never heard of that. All right, let's see if we can maybe work back into this section here. Hmm, where'd be a good place to start? Oh yeah, we were having trouble in here, weren't we? Hmm, maybe we could build over from here. Let's give that a shot. Advocate for the better treatment of elves in Harry Potter. Yeah, that was Hermione. Yeah, I kind of feel like Hermione is a little bit of a kindred spirit. She was trying to advocate for the oppressed elves in their society, even though Harry and Ron teased her mercilessly about it. Okay. Um, what do we have here? French article? Could that be Un, maybe? I think that's an article, right? Yeah, I believe so. Um, hmm. Boring tool? Um, maybe this is about boring into the ground, like a digging machine? Hmm, what would you call that? I'm not sure. What is this name? Hmm. Oh, this looks like it ends in rugs, right? Maybe this is an auger. That is a digging machine. Um, <laughs> what in the world? Uh, hmm. Maybe this is shag rugs. Oh, didn't I say shag carpet? Jeez. Okay. Uh, hmm. This little section is starting to cause problems. Okay, so maybe this is exhale. Arsen? Lupin? Arsene Lupin? Oh man, I don't think I've heard of that person. They used to be a thing. Our exes. Oh yeah. Okay, that's very good. Um, I have no idea. Is this Secretary General's? Maybe? Yeah, that's, that's hard. Okay, well, at least we kind of cleaned up this section. Big tournament news should be an upset, I think. Yeah. Lead into of mind or of war? Peace of mind? Peace of war? Peace of mind makes sense. Peace of war does not really make sense to me. Encrypted URL component? Is that HTTPS? Yeah, the S is like secure. Um, maybe it's state of mind and state of war. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. Sparkling wine variety? I think that's Asti? I believe that's right. Ooh, Jazz Guitarist Montgomery? I do not know that. Basketball box score column? I think assists is a stat they keep track of in basketball. Okay, hopefully that'll help a lot on these downs. Something to file. You could file a nail. You could file a report. Hmm. Sets aside. It's not tables. Hmm. Popped in for just a moment, perhaps. Popped in. Hmm. It has to be past tense. Oh, maybe it's said hi. Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> yeah. It's very hard to see where the past tense part of that is going to be. The IKEA logo shares its colors of its flag. I guess that would be Sweden? That would make sense. Okay. 
how blank, that could be how odd. Give wrong information, would that be a lie to? Yeah. Is this a lawsuit? Yes, you can file a lawsuit, okay. And then this is a lot, yeah. Okay, you're kind of reserving something. Surprise ending is a twist, okay. Okay, so maybe this is gonna be West. It seems like it has to be West Montgomery. Uh, okay, so this is another going up in smoke. It looks like it ends in house. All right, let's see if we can get this one. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw. Okay, well, this is right in my wheelhouse. Um, is it Hogwarts house? Yeah, that's the school that Hermione and her friends went to. Hogwarts, yeah, very nice. And then this has to be Ash, right? So that's Hogwash. Fantastic, okay, I think we finally have a handle on exactly how this theme is working. This gives us Arts House. Hmm, I guess that could kind of be a thing. Serenade should be Sing To. Fatigued over time. Um, hmm. Fatigued over time. I'm not sure what part of speech this should be. That's a little weird to me. It often has its kinks. I guess that could be a hose. Hoses are very kinky. Sight from a Seattle ferry. Hmm. I don't know Seattle very well. Bike ride setting could be a gear. Treat thought to be stamped with symbols of the Knights Templar. Is that an Oreo? It's not an Ego, right? Yeah, it's an Oreo. Okay. Something commonly left in an operating room. Huh. I don't know. Commonly left. Interesting. Pull down could be earn, yeah. If you pull down a certain amount of money a year, that's what you earn. Oh, okay, so maybe you could see an orca. Okay, it's not about the geography at all. Um, is it a scan? Oh, maybe this is age-worn. Oh, oh, this is so tricky. This is a nice little misdirection. Um, it's not about like an object that you leave in an operating room, but it's something that is left on you when you're operated on. It leaves a scar. That's a really nice kind of sophisticated clue. I like that a lot. Okay, the St. Lawrence River's misnamed Blank Islands. Okay, is it Thousand Islands? Okay, yeah, maybe there's not exactly a Thousand Islands. Um, 1980 event in Washington. That was the Mount St. Helens eruption, right? Yeah, that was like devastating, Jeez. Okay, well, we got a little Washington mini theme over here. That's nice. Um, Small lab bottle could be a file. Yeah, you could kind of brew some potions in there if you're a spellcaster. Or Hermione, maybe. Um, okay, we blank to please could be we aim to please. Going by. Hmm, going by. Ooh, did I spell something wrong down here? Those opposite the center and guards in NFL lingo. Oh no, that should be the D line, the defensive line. I guess that's okay. Millennium start. Um, I guess it would be 2001, right? Um, oh, it's named going by. This is not about passing by. This is another really nice little ambiguous slash misdirection. Yeah, this puzzle has had some good ones. Okay, an equivalent phrase. Let me get this out. Listen. Yeah. Blank pal. Early episode of the Jetsons. Oh my god, are we supposed to know the names of Jetsons episodes? That seems a little extreme. Although this one's pretty inferable. I think it has to be Elroy's pal because George Jetson's son is named Elroy. His boy Elroy. Yeah, okay. Set of rules popularized by How I Met Your Mother. Is this the bro code? <laughs> Is that where that came from? Okay. Brand that stylizes its name with a lowercase second letter. So that means the I would be lowercase. Is it Bic, like the pen maker? I think that's right, because it's like a little pen man, right? Okay. Far from friendly could be icy, yeah, like as a personality. 
it may be taken in by a traveler. Um, could it be the scenery? Yeah, this is the time of year to be taking in the scenery. Yeah, we're getting into leaf season pretty soon. Okay, rides. Rides. Maybe this is not literally like riding a bus, but like figuratively riding someone as in like nagging them. Nags, yeah. Okay, lead into scope. Is that a stethoscope? Stethoscope? More teed off? Could that be Soarer? <laughs> this corner is wacky. Okay. Where the Volta River flows. Volta. It's starting to look like it should be Ghana, right? Whose capital is Accra, as we learned yesterday. Um, it seems like it has to be. Let's just see if that's right. Loud as a stadium. That should be a roar, right? Former second lady Cheney. I think that was Lynn, wasn't it? Um, okay, yeah, that's definitely Ghana. C126 down with 124 down. Feature of Van Gogh. Oh my god, is it one ear? Ugh, oh, that poor guy. Okay. Within arm's reach. It looks like it should start with at one's, right? Maybe like at one's grasp? I think one has to be right. Hmm. Be completely candid. I really want that to be talk frankly. Oh, but that's, hmm, it's one letter too long. Hmm, shrinks. Hmm, what a button on an armrest may control. It looks like it starts with seat, doesn't it? Seat height? Hmm. It's not the seat back on an armrest. Hmm. Doctor's orders, maybe. Hmm. Did we look at these downs here? Oh. This is a answer going up in smoke. Okay, our last one. Um, talk, frankly, would be too short now. Hmm. Talk openly? I really don't think this is going to be eBay. I don't think this is going to end in a B. So Etsy is probably pretty good. Okay, but that means we can put some knowledge to use. That means it has to end in ash, right? That's good. Spots for window boxes. I guess it could be sills, like window sills. Verbal cringe? Is it yeesh? I think that's good. Make haste could be high if you're hurrying. HT, hmm. Shrinks. Recoils, maybe? Yeah, if you like recoil from someone's touch, you're kind of shrinking away from them. And then, oof, how is this gonna end? Okay, maybe it's talk straight. There we go. I was thinking this had to be a G with this H here. Eight, yeah, that's not anything, okay. Um, maybe it's seat angle? Okay, great, all right. We finally got all our theme answers filled in, I think. Is it tests for doctor's orders? Yeah. Best blank? Is it best actress, maybe? Hmm, it could be. Shaving brand, isn't that Norelco? They make like razors, right? At one's elbow? Is that right? Within arm's reach. Hmm, I don't know if I've ever heard that term before. Get hitched to should be wed, yeah. All right. T go with is definitely a scone, good, okay. And then scattered could be sowed like seeds, yeah. And that leaves us with take a bow. What a fitting answer to end the puzzle with. All right, let's all take a bow and see if that does it for us. Oh, <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. I guess we forgot we needed to fill this letter in. All right, let's put a V in, and then we can take our bow. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Oh, shoot, okay. All right, we do, in fact, have something wrong here. Give me a minute to track it down, and I'll get back to you. Oh, look at this, we didn't cover this. 
the E in Genoa. I guess that's the word for and in Italian. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. All right, back to looking for the mistake. We didn't look at this one either. Half of say. I think that's right though, tre. Uh, I can't remember if this is Italian or like Portuguese, but yeah, I do believe that's right. I think I've seen that before. Oh, and this ended up being high res instead of high mom. Okay. And this was John Cryer. I never would have gotten that. Yeah, is that the guy that's not Charlie Sheen? I guess it has to be. Ooh, hang on now. I think I might have just hit on it. Running the alphabet on this letter was the first thing I did when looking for an error because O oh, Hive just seems so bad. But I think I actually had the wrong letter that was incorrect. Um, I just looked at this again and chatter is good. Chatter is commotion, but I think clatter could also be a commotion and that would make this olive. And that's a much more plausible family that Jasmine and Lilac could be a part of. So let's throw an L in here and see if that in fact does it for us. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, that took us an extra few minutes, but it wasn't too bad. Um, 52 minutes is not a great time for us for a Sunday. Um, I mean, we had to search for our error for a little while, so that cost a little bit of time. I do think it took a little bit of time for us to catch on to exactly how the theme was working. Um, my first thought as to how the theme was working was that the last word would be something you could use in a phrase that would be about burning something, like burning cash, and then the intersecting down would be a word you could use to describe a burning something, like arson. I think it's just kind of lucky that that's how the first answer ended up being arranged. None of the others have that. Um, but yeah, I was just so excited because that is such a complicated theme. And if a constructor could actually build a theme that was constructed in that way, that would be like a feat that I would have a hard time wrapping my head around. It seems like it'd be really hard to build a puzzle like that. And in fact, it might be too hard because that's not actually how the theme is working. But we still do get a really fun theme. Um, each theme answer has an ash at the end of it. And where that ash happens is where the actual across answer goes up in smoke. And then we get another actual different across answer that starts in the same way and ends in ash. Yeah. So Johnny Carson going up in smoke, unleaded going up in smoke, rehab center going up in smoke, Hogwarts house going up in smoke, which is just, it's so exciting to see that. Boy, we got Hogwarts house and Hermione on the same puzzle. What a treat. And then we finish off with talk straight going up in smoke. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, the theme density is not high, but Boy, what a fun theme. I really enjoyed that one a lot. And then on top of everything else, we had some fantastic misdirection and wordplay on today's puzzle. We had this spellcaster pun that tied into our Hogwarts mini theme. I really liked this clue for erasers, lead off selections. That's really funny. Oh, and this tricky something close to a colonel's heart for Silent L. That was really good too. Oh, and this present day saint for Nicholas. Boy, yeah, there was just such a surplus of great wordplay in today's puzzle. Really, really good. And that next to this nice Santa clue was a nice little pair. All right, we don't need to rehash everything on today's puzzle, but I certainly enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed solving that one along with me. Thankfully, it seems our efforts did not go up in smoke. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice easy Monday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.